Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a update on the uh, situation and also answering questions because I get a lot of questions on this. Um, it seems that a lot of people are a little um, scared and we're talking about the meltdown and specter flaws that are plaguing the Intel processors. So um, I'll try to answer the questions here and try to, you know, also uh, kind of make it relative. How bad is this? Okay. Um, you'll see that for, mo for the most part and for most of us, we don't have to go too crazy about it. Even though, yes, the fixes will need to be applied eventually, um, you know, but we'll answer that slowly. So first of all, uh, to answer the question of uh, Meltdown Inspector, which are two separate security flaws in Intel CPUs. AMD is also affected. Um, but here's the thing. For the meltdown fix, you should have had that fix. Microsoft issued a Windows update fix that actually fixes the problem with meltdown. Now that is something if you're in the latest version of Windows and you've got the latest updates, if their updates have been working every month, you are safe from meltdown. It's very important to understand this. Meltdown, you are safe as long as your Windows updates. Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, it's fixed. You're on a Mac computer. If you have the latest version of your operating system, you received your updates, you are fixed for meltdown on a Mac computer also. iPads and iPhones have been updated through iOS 11. So these are okay. Um, these are also okay for Spectre, the um, iPhones, iPads, uh, Android, if you have the latest security updates from uh, at least February, uh, you should be okay. Um, for example, my Galaxy S7 is, is fine. It's been updated and fixed for Spectre and Meltdown. Now, on Spectre, it's a little more complex for Windows machines. And for a long time, we were thinking, okay, well, there's going to be some you know, needs for some BIOS updates. And, um, of course, older machines do not get BIOS updates anymore, so you can't expect that. So what happened is Microsoft has decided to take a little bit of control onto what's happening. And this is really, really a good idea, okay? Through a update that's called KB4090007. And remember 007, you know, James Bond. The microcode can be updated within Windows. Um, Microsoft has done microcode updates in the past, but now it's taking the, the lead and sending and pushing the microcode for Intel chips. So basically, it's the code that Intel has. It's just that it's going to push it with an update in the Microsoft update catalog. The problem is this update will not be pushed automatically. This update is a manual update that you get yourself. Right now it's available only for Windows 10 in the fall careers update. We expect that in the uh, Microsoft will eventually update Windows 7, Windows 8 machines also. So keep, you know, we'll keep in touch with all that information because it, as it gets available, as we know more about it, we will, of course, talk about it. Also, this does not fix right now all Intel CPUs. The Intel CPUs that are actually fixed right now are Skylake CPUs, sixth generation Intel Core processors. So that means that those are fixed if you apply the update KB4090007. So you just go to the... Um, Windows Update Catalog and type that in and you'll see there's a 32 and a 64-bit version of that. So if you're on the lucky 6th generation Skylake, you're okay. For everybody else, eventually this is going to be applied to everybody and that's what I'm keeping an eye on. I'm keeping an eye on the updates because I want to tell you guys when it's available for everybody else. So I will keep posting regular videos of the updates on this because I think that it's important to fix it once it's there. And it's really nice that Microsoft did this because 
you know, BIOS updates, not a lot of people know how to do them. It's kind of complex. And Intel, the way it's actually doing it, it's kind of complex. And I was like, wow, this is going to be so complicated to, to uh, ex explain. But thanks to Microsoft making it very simple with an update here, it's going to be much easier to have your computer updated. So if you're not on the sixth generation uh, Skylake, we are keeping an eye on when the updates are going to be available for other processors, including me, because I'm not you know, protected. Now, the question, the big question that a lot of people are asking me all the time is, yeah, you know, I'm scared of using my computer. I've even seen posts of people saying, well, I just, you know, shut off my computer and leave it off. I'm scared of the, what could happen because of the flaws in the, the Spectre and Meltdown. So like I said, Meltdown is fixed if you have the latest Windows updates. So you don't have to worry about Meltdown. Where you have to worry uh, a little bit is Spectre, but not that much. And I'll tell you why. Because it was such a big flaw and it was really complex to fix, there were mitigation that were done. That is, there are some updates that were pushed for your browser, your web browser. If you use Firefox or Google Chrome or Opera or Microsoft Edge, these browsers have had a fix in them that actually lowers the risk of you having a problem. So that means if you're careful what you do on the internet, chances of Spectre having you know a problem because of that is quite low because of the mitigation that's been done in the browser. So it's like they've made it more difficult for the bad guys to actually access the Spectre flaw. But of course, as time goes by, we will be taking a look at the updates and applying updates for the microcode. So of course, uh, the, one of the best places to keep up and keep in touch with all that information is right here on this channel. And as it's released for other versions of Windows, I will make videos and let you guys know as they are available. So, um, you know, we'll keep in touch with that information. And don't worry too much, especially if your Windows updates are working fine. You're already fixed for Meltdown. Spectre is, you know, not that easy to actually uh, exploit because of the updates that were done in the browsers. So it's protecting you a little more. And uh, of course, we'll uh, keep up with the information as it is available. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.